Metal Jesus here, and I am back with Kinsey. Hello. And today we're gonna do our top 10 PlayStation 3 games of all time. Yeah! <laughs> All right, so coming in at number 10 is a game called Valkyria Chronicles. Have you played this? Not much of it, just a little bit, but. It's kind of an amazing game. I mean, basically it is a third person strategy game. It happens in mostly real time, although you have action points and you, you have certain amount of movements and, and, and attacks that you can do. Amazing graphics, has a killer story, and it's kind of dark. Like, mm -hmm. like, like people die in this game, and, and I was like, whoa. So, <laughs> so this is actually like a really fun game. I haven't got, uh, like, you know, I haven't finished it, but I've played it enough to where I'm like, this is a total quality title. So this is coming at number 10 for me. That sounds rad to me. I mean, you've already sold me. So. Yeah, <laughs> and I believe it only came out on the PlayStation 3, which is pretty cool. For number nine, now I have a little sticky note here. <laughs> You're making fun of me. That's because uh, Wipeout HD and Fury did not come out in physical release, sadly. I actually looked for this game to get a physical release because I loved it so much. It was so good that I'm surprised it didn't release it. Like, cause there's like the best of PSN and all that kind of stuff. I'm surprised it wasn't on something like That's that. That's actually a really good point. I'm really surprised that they didn't cause so many other games, you're right, came yeah. out in physical. And we have a couple of them in this, this list here. So Wipeout, I'm a huge fan. I mean, that goes all the way back to the PlayStation <laughs> 1. So good. But the HD version on the PlayStation 3, I thought was just amazing. I mean, the, fl the frame rate is super fast. The graphics are amazing. When I first saw it, I was like, holy crap, you know? <laughs> like, it, like, because I was used to the, the PSP version at that time. And a lot of these tracks are based on the PSP versions. Which um, is also very good. Yeah, which I really <laughs> love. But just seeing it on my HD television with these amazing graphics and, and the, the frame rate, I was just sold. So definitely love this. It, you know, it's funny because I almost picked uh, Motorstorm uh, Pacific Rim, which is another really fun racing game. Also very good. <laughs> yeah, and a beautiful game, but I really like Wipeout better. All right, next up we have Dragon's Crown. Amazing game. It's very like arcadey beat em up. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. And it reminds me a lot of the old Shadows Over Mistara, which is the Dungeons and Dragons arcade game, right. which recently came out on Xbox Live. So. Oh. Very cool. It's amazing, check it out. Yeah, I played this uh, for a while and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. It's Vanillaware, so the same people mm. did Odin Sphere and Grim right. Grimoire and all those kind of games, which are also all amazing. So, and this game got a lot of flack, but. For, yeah, for like the, uh, w w it was one of the characters which was kind of deformed or. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a nice way of putting that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> but I mean, all that aside, yeah. this game is so well done. It's so beautiful. And it has like tons of levels. You, like this is the endless game almost. Like it's so fun. You can keep replaying it. And it's ways. known for co-op. Yeah. yeah. I played the whole thing co-op. Oh really? Yeah. Oh cool. It was a blast. Next up, I loved when it first came out. I still think it's amazing. That is Metal Gear Solid 4. And this is kind of, well, for one, this is my favorite Metal Gear Solid game. It was a launch game for the PS3, right? It, I think so. Or, yeah, definitely. I mean, it was one of the early ones because yeah. I played it, you know, many years ago, but it really stuck with me. So uh, the thing about this game is that I think it does all, all of the gameplay elements of stealth really well. Like, yeah. like it just felt really great. Plus you're you're out in, in the forest, but you're also in the city. There's a bunch of variety in the level design and the characters and the story, it's batshit crazy i mean it's it's yeah because do you remember this game there's like a al albino monkey there is oh my god there's um there's the laughing octopus boss in mm -hmm. there um there's i think it's a vampire you shoot him in the forehead <laughs> and he he catches his cell phone but then he gets back up it's just craziness the thing i love about metal gear solid is it always has that little bit of tongue-in-cheek yeah yeah and it's just it's so lovable. The one thing about this game though, and I know everyone kind of complains about it, is that there are a ton of, of movies in this. As a matter of fact, there is a YouTube video yeah. out there where they've cut together all the movies and it's like nine hours long. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so <laughs> so you have to kind of be in that, that, that that's, you know, mind frame to, to basically sit down and really watch uh, a video game, a movie, mm -hmm. essentially. But I loved it. I mean, you know, I was kind of in that mode. It's funny because the movies last for so long that your controller will constantly turn off. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Yeah, but it's still <laughs> awesome. So, next up is 
South Park, the Stick of Truth. And I understand that this is not an exclusive, but it's so good. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> and, and I actually played it and beat it on the PlayStation 3. So, you know, we're counting it, right? It's, it's gonna happen. Yeah. This game made me laugh the whole time. I had a smile on my face the entire time I played this game. It's so yeah. funny. It's so like, I don't, it's so witty. Like, yeah. it just, it's hilarious. It makes for a Skyrim throughout the entire game. And yeah, the, I loved Skyrim. I know the sound effects in it. Plus, I mean, it, you know, it, it's a, it feels like a South Park episode, like from beginning yeah. to end, it's amazing. And even when you just think, oh, maybe it's gonna get a little samey, then you go to Canada. Yep. And it completely changes up. You know, spoiler, if you yeah. haven't played it, we're not gonna tell you much more about than that. <laughs> uh, and then the ending, out of control. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, even if you're not a South Park fan, even if you just like a little bit of bathroom mm -hmm. humor, <laughs> worth it. And it's actually, so fun. what I really liked about it too was the combat was that classic turn-based combat. So, yep. so it was very familiar, actually. It was, it, a, it was a lot like Super Mario RPG where it had the yes. active time event at yeah, the time. Where you have to block and then all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, it, was, it definitely kept you on your toes. I love this game. Yeah, me too. All right, so next up is a game that I play twice now, and each time I think it's freaking amazing, and that is Journey. I love it so much, I had to get the physical release. I originally downloaded it, like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But this is an amazing experience. And I say experience because it's a game, but it's really something you just sort of sit down, you you just sort of absorb yourself into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, so amazing. Yeah, you're like going on your life's journey. Yeah. You know, there's a big desert, there's ruins, and yeah. like you meet strange along the way, and it's just so beautiful. And it really is, it's an experience, it's not a game. As a matter of fact, you kind of hit on it there that really this game is is your life. I mean, yeah. it, there's an audio commentary on here where the, where the developers talk about in the very beginning, you're born, and you mm -hmm. go through this this time of discovery, and then there you go through kind of this dark period and this, this really heavy struggle and then you have the end and it's just amazing and a special note has to be said for the music in this game like so beautiful at the end of this I was like single man tier man it was like <laughs> it was it was awesome and it's made by the same people who make flow and flower mm -hmm. and like those games are also beautiful so like I mean this had to be amazing Come on. The, the other thing <laughs> I want to say about this game too is the way it handled multiplayer was really cool because yeah. essentially what it was is that you can't speak in this game, but the game pairs you with random people through PlayStation Network. And so you'll be going to a level and there'll be somebody else there. And you you talk to each other with chirps. Yep. And um and it's really fun because it it's amazing how how disappointed I was when somebody went off without me. Yep. Like we were hey, yeah, <laughs> I was we were, like no we we're playing the game for quite a while and no way I thought we were having a good time here, you know. And at the very end of the game it tells you who you actually paired up with so mm -hmm. you get to see finally at the end the the names of, of the people it was really a special game yeah all right next up we have heavy rain yes. I absolutely adored this game and it's very yes. similar to like indigo prophecy and mm -hmm. all these other adventure games and now with the telltale games like oh good point it's very similar yeah. and this game oh my gosh it's a murder mystery amazing it is, and it's one of the games too, when I first got my PlayStation 3, I bought this and I was like, wow, this is what the PlayStation 3 can do. I mean, yeah. it's so it's so crisp and beautiful and detailed. I mean, in the very beginning, you start off and you're this guy and you have, you're have you doing kind of mundane things. You're brushing your teeth, you're yeah. you're taking a shower, you know, you're know, you playing with your kids and all this sort of stuff, but it, it's all to sort of get you in the mindset of the events that happen mm -hmm. in this game, which are really hardcore. I mean, this game gets deep and dark, man. This game is intense. Yeah. And it's very classic murder mystery, like, you don't know yeah. you know, who did it throughout most of the game, and it's yeah. really intense. Yeah, so you play four different characters, and mm -hmm. including the main character, and one of the really interesting things about it is that as you're controlling this, this guy who has lost his son, um, he has lapses of memory, which is really an interesting sort of thing when you're playing this game, because you don't know if your own character is guilty or not for the longest yep. time. And it's such a great setup. And then you also play as, um, I think she's a reporter. I forget, I forget what. what yeah, she's yeah. a reporter, and then you play as the detective. The detective, yes. Mm -hmm. It's such a fantastic game. Yep. It should be played by everyone who is into um, the PlayStation 3 and also adventure games. Yep, exactly. This game is fantastic. It's kind of a psychological thriller and it's mm -hmm. wonderful. And, and also the endings change depending on what you did. Yep, you can kill off characters in this game. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people are gonna be expecting this game to be on this list. It is not our number one though, so a little bit of a surprise here. Still a fantastic game, that's The Last of Us. 
It's so wonderful. The narrative yes. alone between Joel and Ellie is one of my favorite things. Yes. Like, Actually, I think this game breaks a lot of new ground. I mean, it, the, the, the the acting, the storytelling, the, the emotion in this mm -hmm. game is leagues abo above most games. Yeah. I mean, the ending of this game actually made me like yell at the TV <laughs> and like sort of cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. It's funny because a lot of people have debated the ending for a long time, right? Yeah. You know what? Actually, you and I have debated debated about this. We <laughs> yeah. can't really get into it because of spoilers, yeah. of course. But another thing about this game that there's a couple things that strike me that I love about it. One is that it's post-apocalyptic, mm -hmm. but it's not desolate. Like it, it's not a nuclear wasteland. Instead, it's very green, very lush, very beautiful. It's a beautiful world. Yeah, which again, it it was different than a lot of other games like Fallout, where it's like very refreshing. It's like ooh, yeah. you know, it was beautiful to explore. Um, the other thing that was really shocking about this game is just how many different areas they created for this. Yeah. You're in the city, you're in the forest, you are all over the place. And it, it's, I mean, again, this is like 10 games worth of level design. It's yeah. incredible. One thing I loved about The Last of Us is that um, in the actual like gameplay combat modes, like you could play so differently yes. that you could shoot or you could throw bricks, you could yeah. use Molotov. Like there's so many different stealth. things you could do. You could yeah. do stealth. And like I found myself not using guns that often. Right. I was a brick and Molotov kind of girl. And, and many times <laughs> the game will allow you just to skip them. I mean, basically yeah. to avoid uh, confrontation. Yeah. You know? and, it's, and that's the other thing too, is that, you know, combat is hard in this game. Yeah, and so <laughs> you gotta be really smart when, you, when you're taking on these clickers and stuff like that. It's awesome. Yeah, because once you get swarmed, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I love this game. Actually, we should probably note that this came out on an upgraded version for the PlayStation 4. I haven't mm -hmm. played it yet. I definitely want to. It's beautiful. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> All right, next up is another game that most people will expect to be on this list, Uncharted 2. This was my pick, so this is our number two game. And I gotta tell you, when I first played this game, I was blown away by it again. I just love so much about it. I love how it was narrated, like in the very beginning, you're just like, dude, is what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Through flashbacks. There's that one level when you are in, I believe it's a, a Tibetan city, and you're looking out over this, this city vista, and I was just like, again, at, yeah, I was like, you know, it was one of those moments where, this is an amazing game, you know. Yeah. And then later on, you're in that building, and the building's collapsing, <laughs> yeah. and you're you're fighting. It's craziness. So yeah, this game's intense, and it has some of the best platforming as well. Mm. There's one part where you're like in a mountain, and you're climbing on gears and solving puzzles, yeah. and there's no enemies in this whole area. Mm -hmm. But you're in this be like you have a beautiful view. The platforming is super interesting, and yeah, that reminded me of Tomb Raider, that, that part yeah, there, which yeah. I love, too. That was my favorite part of the whole game. Like, and, I could rave about that part. <laughs> and also, the characters in this are just amazing. I, I love the two female characters. They're both feisty, and they, they, mm -hmm. they, they really have their own, you know, they, they can they can hang with with, uh, with Nathan Drake. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. So, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the next version on the PlayStation 4. It'd be awesome to, to check out. I am as well. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, we have my number one. It is Nino Kuni. If you have not played this game, it's amazing. It's Miyazaki, so it's the same people who did like Totoro and Spirited Away, mm -hmm. so the artwork is adorable. Right. And it's this wonderfully massive RPG where you are just this little boy from Motorville and you happen to be the pure hearted one, like most kind of Japanese things start where you're like, oh, I was nothing, but now I'm awesome. <laughs> So, and he's trying to save his mom, right? Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is, again, very heartfelt, you know? Yeah, this is an adorable game. And the gameplay's awesome because it goes off the familiar system. Sort of like Pokemon, Devil Summoner kind of thing, oh, okay. where you collect different, like, little monsters, and then you can have them fight for you. Hmm. And it's amazing. All the character design is really interesting. The levels are really cool. The story is kind of the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. <Look. laughs> Very cool. All right, guys. Well, that is our top 10 PlayStation 3 games. Now, we had other games that we could have added on here, like mm -hmm. God of War 3. There's a bunch of them. So at the end here, we'd love to know what would make your list, because this is our list, obviously. So, yep. so many games to choose from. I love collecting and playing games on the PlayStation 3. I think it's awesome. It's awesome. There's so many exclusives, too. I know. It's wonderful. I know. I didn't realize that when I first got the PS3. I was like, ah, oh, I got an Xbox 360. I'm good. No, no. No, They're, not even close. <laughs> not even close. All right. Well, thanks very much for coming on. Of course. 
I want to thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. Take care. You know, something else I really loved about the PS3 is the PlayStation Store and the fact that you could download and buy PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games, including imports. So, so awesome. I love they did that.